WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. What's so evolved a crab? Why crab? You know, in the ocean, there's this thing called carcinization, and it's also the name for cancer. But. <laughs> Um, but crabs are like the peak life form for ocean life. Okay, they're peak, they're optimized, peak uh, optimization. Apparently. Okay. Because things just keep evolving to crabs. Okay. It's insane. There's so many different species of crab simply because things just keep evolving to them. That's very interesting. I would feel like crabs are like the last thing I would think anything would evolve into. Right? That's just... Okay. So you can't say like... You can say return to monkey, but you can't say return to crab. No, you gotta evolve to crab. You've gotta evolve to a crab. Okay. That's fair. And like crabs are just... They're just little guys. They're just scuttling across the beach having fun. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So why wouldn't you want to be a crab? Oh, no, you're right. I'm just waiting for the day that uh, we evolve so much that our our heads are s- like our brains <laughs> just like you know I've seen photos and like this is like what Scientific American is like this is how humans are gonna look in like the next three thousand years and they got like these like ginormous heads for brains I'm like oh okay I doubt that's gonna happen I would it would be so funny if we all live in a world where everybody's head is ginormous because they just have a ginormous brain. <laughs> Can you imagine evolving to end up like the people in Wally, <laughs> where they can't move out of oh, their chairs? They just, they, just, fly- <laughs> they just fly everywhere on the hover chairs. I think that's. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to think of it. That would be a scary world. It'd be so funny though. It would be hilarious, but like, you know, at that point, our our Earth is so bad that we need little trash compactor <laughs> robots to like trash compact little like pyramid things yeah and it's just like you live on a spaceship that's run by like (laughs) the dude from like space odyssey (laughs) have you seen the really dark theories for wally no i have not oh my god there's some that's like wally killed all of his friends oh i've heard about that one yeah Uh, yeah no disney disney theorists they really like they really come up with some interesting They come things. up with some wild things, but I eat them up every single time. That's fair. I used to be a big the uh, Pixar theory guy. Yes. That they're all connected. They're all connected. It's they're all one movie. <laughs> they're all connected in this strange big universe. And I'm like, okay. Like, Boo is uh, the girl from, Ma- or like the witch from Ma- uh, yeah. Brave. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay. We're going leaps and bounds here, but okay. Yeah. No, I'm all for it because I think it's so fun. Okay. It's such a fun theory. And mm-hmm. like, have you, like, it's <laughs> people ruled the earth and then they died out in Wally and then robots ruled the earth and then they died out and then Bugs Life is what came next. <laughs> No, it, it, I got it wrong. It's like people, then the cars, then Wally. No, people, Wally, cars, then Bugs Life, I think. Okay. It's um, been forever since I watched a Pixar yeah, Theory video. Yeah. Uh, it's a little, I don't even know. It's a little fuzzy. It's just funny to think that like they just make these movies and then like people are trying to connect them and they're like, hey man, they're all separate films. And yeah. Like, no, no Pixar. They're all connected. The directors just put in fun little Easter eggs for and then people. Fans just like they run with it. They run wild with it. Like the the main fear like the reason why people think that the witch from Brave Because isn't isn't she carving a, a Sully like I don't know that she's carving one, but I know that there is one. a Sully carving. Yeah. And people are like, what if, what if Boo got older and figured out how to use the doors? No. Simply, no. That's not how that works. No. Yeah, no, they just throw in Easter eggs and like, but, 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 connected worlds. And you're like, no, no. But But Easter egg, dog. But Easter egg. Go giggle at your closet if you want to (laughs) and open it and see if you can get to the Sully world or like the Monsters, Inc. universe. It's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It, how do they think she got there? Did she just giggle at her door? 
<laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. It's just, I guess, I don't, I'm not even, cause, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. It's a fun theory. I highly recommend going it is. just watching some theorists. But you just got people that just like, they take it so far and you're like, calm down. It's a cool little theory. You know, I can, I can see where people are coming at, but you Pixar nerds are taking it too far. Has Pixar gone too far? <laughs> Is Pixar too woke? <laughs> <laughs> that and then you got uh, uh, Disney Park nerds. Oh I, my god, Disney adults. Di- that's what they're called, Disney adults. Oh my lord. I was the opposite of a Disney adult as a kid. I was like dark Disney. That was my <laughs> favorite thing. Like I absolutely adored hearing the stories of how people died in Disney parks. <laughs> oh my god! Every time someone dies in a Disney park, it's gruesome. Oh yeah, well yeah, it's, it's just awful. insane. And then they have like the the theory that like nobody dies at a Disney park because when no. something happens, they take them off site so they can die off the uh, the No, people have died in a Disney park. Yeah. There's the story of a woman getting crushed between... I've I've heard about that one. The the whole of President's one? Yeah. 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 It's bad. (laughs) No, it's bad. Not only that, but like they have to ban people because they spread their loved one's ashes. Oh. (laughs) At Disney parks. Especially like the Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've heard about all the curse, the curses that linger. If you it. breathe the air in the Haunted Mansion, chances are you're breathing in someone's grandma. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, and it? like the corpses on Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, like they're, yeah, they real, they're real skeletons. They're real skeletons. Yeah. yeah. Walt Disney was. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, I highly recommend just doing a deep dive. Yeah. Yeah. If you got a few hours yourself, do a and Disney deep dive. And nothing better to do with your life. Do a Disney deep dive. It's so fun. I'm trying to think. Well, there was something else about Disney that I was trying to think about. Unless you just really like Disney and don't want it ruined for you, don't do it. No. Ruin it. Ruin it. <laughs> Get the full picture of what's going on. Don't trust the mouse. Don't trust Mr. Mouse. There's something up with We're him. We're going to get a cease and desist tomorrow. <laughs> they just barge in right now. Yeah. We just get arrested the, by the Disney police. Uh-huh. <laughs> Stop talking about us. Yeah, yeah they just. <laughs> <laughs> if we go missing, you know who took us, a.k.a. Mr. Mouse. Like the frozen theory where um, they froze Walt Disney's head. Oh, and that's then they hilarious. made yeah. Frozen so that if you look up Walt Disney Frozen, it comes up with the movie instead yeah. of the head theory. Yes, these people, these people are insane. Watch it actually be true. That's what it was. Do you remember when on TikTok, somebody was going around drinking the fountain water? They were They were drinking different waters from Disney, and then they got kicked out of the park because, I mean, first of all, that's gross. Yeah. Like, that's gross. Like, the idea was, like, trying different waters and then rating them, and I was like, oh, Okay, I guess that's cool. And then he goes like, and he like puts his like little swell bottle in the fountain water, and it's just. Why would you do takes that? Takes a big sip and goes, you know, it's kind of gross. And I'm like, yeah, it's not it's meant to be fountain water. <laughs> it's like the people licking airplane seats forever ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so gross. <laughs> Did you never see that? This no, girl like posted a video oh of her licking not just an airplane seat but an airplane toilet seat oh i said stop i saw that bit <laughs> that's gross if you do that you're gross i don't care what's what, wrong with you i don't care what people say you're gross what that's brand gross. of mental illness is that stop it stop it i don't know I don't even know. And then, yeah, no. And then this next video was like, guys, I just got kicked out of the Disney park for drinking the water. And I'm like. You were drinking fountain water. Duh. They were taking you off site to die. (laughs) (laughs) They're letting the the Mickey microbes uh, enter your system. Not only that, but there's like defunct. Like there's this defunct one in the Florida Disneyland. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Because there's a brain eating amoeba in the water. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Is that the one? Is it like an island? Yeah. I see. Yeah, and like, 
or like one or two people that every now and then are like, yeah, I'm going to swim to the island. I'm going to, I know like they take these like, they take these like creepy photos of like, you know, like when it stopped, like it just time stops there. And it's just yeah. like, that's. But first of all, you know, there's a brain eating amoeba in the water. Why are you swimming? Anything for the views. Anything for the views. Anything for the views. I feel like that has just taken over our culture and I hate I, first it used to be do it for the vine right yeah do it for the vine now and it would be like a three second thing yeah now it's anything for the views and oh my lord if you go on youtube right now it's all like hour long documentaries like yeah. docuseries that people are just making but if you go on tiktok it's awful <laughs> that's where anything for the views is going right now yeah it's not it's not it's not a good future it's really not i'm sorry please stop please don't do it for the views and you just see people that like one kid i saw they're having like a school assembly and he just ran up and went into the microphone and then like i'm like dude why that wasn't even funny yeah exactly and like him and his other his three other friends like yo you got him you got him good i'm like you no you didn't you just like you're just a you're just a nuisance. Stop. Yeah, they're gonna Stop look it. back at that and cringe really hard. See, yeah, the thing is, once that your brain develops a little bit, the the comments of digital footprint are becoming more and more relevant to this day. And yeah, it's insane. That's that's how I feel every time I like scroll through TikTok or like Twitter and I see people's Twitter names or like their Ooh, TikTok man. handles and it's something along the lines of an anime character uh, with dumpster after it mm. at the end of it. Mm. And I think you know where I'm going with the middle part there. No, but I don't. I don't. I don't think you want to. If I'm, you don't. I'm okay for my sanity. I'm okay. Yeah. There's so many where it's just people like their TikTok handles are just people thirsting after anime characters. I'm like, y'all's digital footprint? Get a life. Yeah. Get a life. I'm sorry. Get a life. My TikTok handle is something that if you don't know me, you're not going to guess it. Yeah, mine's pretty mine's pretty funny and but it's also not it's not bad. If yeah. like my future boss were to find my TikTok and be like, "What is this?" I could be like, yeah, no, it's this is me. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, no, I think I think Twitter's the worst when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. The digital footprint's real on Twitter. Yeah, I. I don't. I hate Twitter. I I, I don't get on Twitter just because I don't want to see it. I oh. get on it every now and then to check the uh, trending. Yeah, got it. Yeah, gotta gotta say outdated, but after a while, I'm just like I, I don't yeah. want to say updated. Especially after the new Last of Us episodes come out. Okay, I haven't I watched gotta, it yet. I highly recommend it. It's so good. Okay. Like okay. it's so good. Okay. I every single time a new episode comes out, I check Twitter after I watch it just so I can see what everybody's saying the about it. Yeah, the consensus. Um. And last week's episode, it hurt. Some of the Twitter things hurt. (laughs) When people say Twitter can't hurt your feelings, yes, it can. (laughs) Twitter's ruthless. I mean, it's just becoming like the Wild West of just, and not a good Wild West. Yeah. Not fun cowboys. It's Uh, 30 year old men in their mom's basement. Taking like with these like really weird takes, and you're just like. (laughs) <laughs> what how how can your mind do leaps and bounds to get there seriously what brought you to that conclusion yeah like what what videos are you watching that you're like you got there like uh, uh, Plus, uh it's so bad no it's just it, i think the unregulated uh, instagram is getting there too instagram it's, this unregulated part of instagram is very annoying to me like my instagram i'll be going through my instagram and it's like normal videos and then it's like hey you want to see this guy who's lifting weights and his like his pectoral muscle rips uh, rips oh rips off of his arm like and i go why why Instagram? See, I'm not on that side. I'm on the very positive side of Instagram. You know what I get videos of? What? I get videos of little cats doing little stupid things. And it's, but they're really poorly edited. So it's just the cat's head like coming <coughs> at you mm-hmm. with a weird noise at the same time. Or it's like, I don't know if you've, I don't know if you're on this specific niche of TikTok. <laughs> 
but I I've seen this video, like I've seen this guy so many times. But it's like the guy that like does the um, storylines with his cats. Yeah. So he'll be like, and it's he's four and he's like Spanish or something. And he's like running with his cats, and he, their cat, his cats are like, "We gotta do this thing." And he's like, "Okay." And then like he does the little green screen where he like flips himself uh-huh. and like falls off a cliff, and his cats like save him. It's so dramatic, but I get that kind of stuff on my Instagram now, okay. and I kind of hate it. Okay, but it's really funny sometimes. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. No, mine is like <laughs> it's positive. It's like either, "Hey man, you should go to the gym." And- get your workout into like hey you want to see this guy lift like he will squat 400 pounds but then also break his arm because he can't hold the weight because it's so heavy and i'm like no i don't want get, to see that i get stuff like capybara loves you and like do you want to be my froggy valentine stuff like that it's my favorite time of the year for instagram where you get the little valentine's cards Uh, they're so cute no i don't (laughs) instagram is just i got one of a capybara holding a rose in its mouth and it just said do you want to be my valentine and i sent it to my friend (laughs) it was so cute i'm on the capybara side of instagram right now i can i can show i don't want to see it we're gonna go to (laughs) i want love by esby sunset girl on 90.7 the capstone WVUA FM Tuscaloosa Welcome back to WVUA 90.7 The Capstone. This is your morning show with Summer Scroggins. And Ian Schwartz. And we've got a little bit of a C-Dubs article for you. A shout, shout out C-Dubs. Out, shout out C-Dubs. So we got um, we got this article saying, Changing the Tide, How Student Organizations Are Championing to Change at UA. Ooh. So... Oh, um, aren't they also, like, doing their print soon? I think so. Or was it It was soon or it was yesterday? One of the two. Uh, yeah. Either is in between. Yeah. Somewhere in between. Either way, like, when it comes out... Get a copy. I'm not saying get a copy, but I'm saying... No, I'm saying get a copy. <laughs> get a copy now. No, I'm just kidding. Don't you know we're not supposed to do calls to action? You're right. You're right. Don't I'm get a copy. I'm strongly suge- suggesting that a co- getting a copy would be very cool. That feels like some subversive advertisement, if I'm being honest. It's okay. It's C-dubs. That's fair. That's fair. So, essentially, it lists out different organizations that are fighting for change. So, you got uh, Tide Against Time, which educates students through social media posts explaining the problems with the united states prison system interesting you have uh students for sensible drug policy which i mean education is it says and i quote education is a pillar to many social justice organizations including this one and it looks like it uh it it's an organization that you know teaches students about sensible drug policies the way you yeah. Which we need. We need. Um, we just need to fix a lot of things. There's a lot of uh, things, tr- some uh, olden laws that don't really hold up anymore, in my opinion. Need to be need to be altered. Yeah. Need to be altered. Uh, there's a different uh, hope. Hope you, which is a Christian organization that seeks to educate, support. And raise awareness for victims of human trafficking. That's nice. It's a very yes, that is a very nice one. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So that's a great C Dubs article. If you wanna check it out, wanna check the rest of it out, go to thecrimsonwhite.com. So yeah. yeah. 
Speaking of student media, we have we're gonna have live coverage of the Grammys. Mm, yes, yes. If you can't, <coughs> if you can't get the streams, and you want to listen in to the Grammys, check Just out. Yeah. Hear some of our DJ's thoughts. Yeah. Even I think some of the morning show people are doing it too, yeah, aren't they? I think so. I might hopefully maybe I will be here. I don't know that I'll be here personally, Holy but shit. yeah. Um, if you want to hear like some radio people's thoughts, play by play breakdowns, yeah, definitely check it out. It's gonna be a good time. We should, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, just hanging out, hanging out, uh, live reaction, live uh, play breakdowns, yeah, of uh, what's going on with um, the Grammys. It's like February 5th, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. I'll it's look. Sunday. So, yeah, I think it's the fifth. Oh, okay. I didn't know what day it was. I, yeah, no. It's like Super Bowl Sunday, but for the Grammys, I guess. But for musicians. Which, they got some uh, They got some picks there that I don't I don't agree with. I don't like. Um, I haven't looked at the nominations, all honestly. All I know is that Machine Gun Kelly was nominated for something. Oh, my God. Really? And, yeah, I'm being, uh, I'm for real on this one. The Grammys are rigged. The Grammys are rigged. The Grammys are rigged. I'm sorry, <laughs> but how is this grown man getting nominated for his pop below, below average pop punk? Can we really call that pop punk? No, but I mean, that's the closest I can call it. I mean, ABBA, ABBA got, I, I didn't even know ABBA was making music still. I thought ABBA, yeah. was, I thought ABBA was out. Hey, I'm not complaining. I love no, ABBA. I mean, yeah, no, but it's just like when I see them, I'm like, oh, okay. Let's see who else. Um, ABBA, Lizzo, Harry Styles, fair. Harry fair. Styles, obvious, oh, the obvious choice. I mean, Harry yeah. and Lizzo, honestly. I'm not a big Harry Styles fan, but oh, I'm not either. But I'm just saying, he's got enough fans. It makes sense. It makes sense that ABBA, Lizzo, and Harry Styles all are nominated you know bad bunny yeah like, makes sense honestly if we want to revive the pop punk genre we need to get those depressed emo boys to make bands again yeah not the machine gun kelly's did machine gun kelly i thought i was told that he was nominated i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure he was nominated i hope you're wrong honestly For, i don't know if it was i'm praying album. on his downfall Oh, here it is. Best rock album, Mainstream Sellout by Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, God. Now, let's see. I guess they didn't have very many choices because no one's really making rock anymore. Yeah, I guess. But, like, why? And then let's see the rating from, for... It got a 4.4. People are rating it a 4.4. I highly doubt that. I think I'm going to slam my head into a wall. Somebody rated a five star, and then the next one after that was a one star saying, worst, most generic pop punk album I've ever heard. The people rating it five <coughs> stars have got to be, like, children, you know? Yeah. Like, actual children. I just, I think he, I think he's botting. I think he's paying for bots. He might be, honestly. But, like, I'm not kidding when I say, like, legitimate children, because... They don't. They didn't grow up in the same era where they were listening to like the '90s grunge that their dad was playing, or the '80s grunge, or you know, just what was on the radio. Like fa for me, it was like Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, My Chemical Romance, The Emo Trinity. Uh, so, yeah, no, it's just so like Rolling Stone gave it a three, a two and a half out of three. I don't understand how we can do that i just what kind I, of rating is out of three i don't even know they literally have this and i don't understand like i guess is that their rating system i don't know but i i, I don't like machine gun kelly i think he's the most disingenuous artist i've ever like listened to yeah going from like getting absolutely roasted by eminem to like just like 
magically switching to pop punk and then like he acts like you know i'm so like if you're not wearing doc martens while you're performing you're not pop punk and i'm like you don't know the punk you're not you don't know your fan base you're not pop punk either you were you're just like you're just some dude from ohio that did like white boy rap and then he got roasted because you got roasted so hard you went emo yeah yeah barely emo yeah like, you went like suburban white moms okay emo you know and it's yeah uh, yeah and then he's like trying to roast Corey taylor for wearing uh like still wearing masks for slipknot but you're like a 30 year old man writing and i kissed her under the bleachers like yeah you're like you're literally the, you are no different from like making fun of a 50 year old man for wearing a mask on stage yeah and like having this persona you're like where's the disconnect yeah there's like there's a ginormous disconnect and like i don't believe that machine gun kelly stands are real not only really that but like that's not punk no it's, it's not it's not you know like the the punk subgenre, and i like i'm i'm not claiming to be a part of that group i just know i know the lore yeah, yeah. you know no the lore i yeah no, there the there are so a lot of the punk people that i know because i have friends that are punk right there's some of the nicest people i know oh yeah you yeah. know it's the fake punk people that are always like if you're not wearing doc martens you're not real punk if you don't have black eyeliner streaming down your face yeah you're, you're not. not punk yeah those are yeah those are the fake ones the real ones are like we're poor we can't afford doc martens yeah we just we got what we got and we rock out and yeah it's fair there's some of the most chill people i know there's some of the sweetest people i know you know it's very annoying when you just got these people that like they only like the aesthetic and then they're like yeah no, if you don't like follow the the aesthetic you're fake yeah no and, like dude you're the one that's fake <laughs> you're the one that's just fr you're the one that's not the real like you're the imposter you are <laughs> sus everybody vote you machine gun kelly <laughs> out he's the sus imposter Never say that again. Leave. Sus, 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 Leave sus, the studio. Sussy baka. There, I said it. I said my piece. Okay, up next is Knee Jerk by Tommy A. Do your task in between. WVUAFM, Tuscaloosa. Hello, good morning, everyone, and welcome to WVUA 90.7, the capstone. This is your morning show here to tell you a little bit of good news. Yay, good news. <laughs> Yay. You don't have to sound so excited. I'm so very excited. You can't hear it in my voice. Contain your exci excitement, Ian. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> but the good news that I have found for today is a new study of Triassic fossils revealed the origins of living amphibians through a tiny, funky worm. Let's go worms. Worms. Any worm fans out there? Uh, I'm a little bit of a worm fan. Who up playing with a worm? What happened? Wait, what? <laughs> My friend says that all the time. Just playing with worms? Yeah. Okay. It's mainly a reference to, um, what's his face? Megami's dad in Jujutsu Kaisen. Toji? Yeah. He said that? No, no but she, <laughs> she says that because he has a big worm. Oh, on no, we're not. I'm not going into this. <laughs> I'm not going into this. Literally a murderer. Literally no. in the show, a murderer. That's one of her hear me out characters. Get... <laughs> we're not going to bring in what we were talking about in between the breaks set onto this. Hear me out characters are some of the best characters. Everybody that you picked in their in their respective universes are literally murderers. They have <laughs> they take joy in killing human beings. I'm not hearing you out on But any. they are so baby girl. 
No, they would kill babies and girls. <laughs> They're not baby girl. But I'm different. I'm different. They'd choose me. No, you would just you would be one of the many. <laughs> one of the many. Anyway, back to worms. <laughs> Yeah, back to worms. <laughs> Let's get back to worms. So for three years, paleontologists uh, in the Petrified National Forest Park have been unearthing the remains of the oldest known amphibian. It's not a frog or a salamander, but um, it's a family of legless salamander adjacent burrowing critters. Okay. It's the way that the article phrases it. Okay. Um... It's, uh, it extends the record of amphibians by nearly 35 million years, mm-hmm. and it fills in a gap of almost 87 million years. Okay. Um, give me a second. Only 10, before this discovery, only 10 fossil little salamander thingies were known, um, but they estimated that... Uh, the or- evolutionary origins dated back to like 370 million years ago. Uh huh. Um, apparently, these things are like really rare, and whatever, you know, it's just really not a very rare thing for them to find. Um, paleontologists are searching for fossils of other more common animals. Uh, Kligman, one of the dudes that found it, said our discovery was one of totally unexpected and it was transformed the trajectory of his scientific interests. Um, uh huh. Modern, of uh, the modern version of these guys are um, limbless amphibians with cylindrical bodies and a compact bullet shaped skull that keep that helps them burrow underground. Now okay. they're home to exclusively South and Central America, Africa, and South Southern Asia. Okay. They spend their lives burrowing in leaf litter or soil searching for prey, such as worms and insects. Okay. So, they think they're related to uh, medium-sized amphibians and one of the largest amphibians known as... I'm going to butcher this, but... Disorphoridia, something like that. Okay. Um, But it's also argued that this thing died out, leaving no living relatives. Okay. So it's a very new discovery, and they don't really know much about it yet. Okay. Interesting. But. Let's go worms. Go worms. Go worms. Go worms, go birds. Don't worm go birds. fans are going crazy right now. Worm fans in chat are going insane. But the bird fans going you, even crazy. Are you a bird? Are you a birds fan? Is that who you're rooting for for the Super Bowl? No, but the bird is the word. Bird is a word. I guess that's why people are going for the birds. Go birds. Go bird. I mean, Philly's a mess bird, right bird, now. Bird, bird, bird. Have you seen what's happening in Philly? Philly's a mess right now. No, I try not to look at Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Philly, apparently Philly's like a mess. Like there's like not rioting, but like when they were going, found out they were going to the Super Bowl. I know they were greasing poles. Yeah, yeah. I know about that. Yeah, they had a grease pole so that people wouldn't climb them. But you know the Philadelphia people are still going to climb them. Philadelphians are very, you know, they have a lot of ingenuity, so they figure, very they, avid pole they, climbers. They figure out a way to to climb poles. <laughs> so i mean between the chiefs and the birds who you who do you think i i genuinely don't know i don't pay attention okay fair enough fair i enough. just i like the commercials that come out they're always funky i like the doritos commercials yeah that's fair i mean they're getting really sad and i can't watch them anymore they went from like the avocados from mexico to like they went from puppy monkey baby. Yeah, to like they're very they're super depressing and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. 
They're supposed to be funny. They're very, they very are much supposed to be funny. Give me back the funny Super Bowl commercials. I want, yeah, no, I want the funny Doritos Locos tacos. Give us more Whopper, Whopper, Whopper. Oh my gosh. I hate that meme. <laughs> Do you really? I hate that it's meme. It's so funny to me. I hate the Whopper meme. I can't. <laughs> They're so funny. I hate the song. The song's... I saw one to Bad Romance yesterday. What do you mean? What's that? But you know how they, like... um, They've got, like, the edits to the... Like, edits... It's to the tune of Bad Romance. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. From Lady Gaga. Um, no. I hate it. I hate the Whopper song. I don't understand why. It's so funny. It's so... Well... It seems like you have a story behind this. Well, you know, I think this... I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But if I remember the reason why the Whopper meme is so big, it's because of the... Uh, Damar... You remember Damar Hamlet? Yeah. That's why it got big. Oh, really? Because he got injured and then Whopper... Yeah, and then that's... Oh, song. my God. That's... I'm pretty sure that's why it got popular. I didn't know that. That's the whole reason why it's like POV, like, you, you know bad news is coming on and then you see like the whopper so well see i don't know any of that i just see <laughs> i just see people dancing to it no yeah, or i no. see like the different remixes that's why it got so popular i hate that that's almost as bad as why i'm as the reason i know that glass animals got popular i don't even why did glass animals get popular because of a minecraft youtuber fan fiction oh okay okay that reminds me of that seabat song yeah it was someone wrote like a fan fiction about dream and george <laughs> i physically just shook in my seat yeah to um heat waves that's why that got popular because so many people read that fan fiction and wanted to know what the song was so they listened to it and was like dang this kind of slaps and that then they kinda, showed it to their friends. That's that kind of sucks, man. You make one song and you put it out there, and then you got somebody that's like on a Reddit thread, <clears> either <throat> talking about their, what non Reddit they're putting about their that why they listen to Sea Bad or like the the fan fiction, and then they're like, "You're the one guy that made that one song from," that. and it's just like, "Oh my god, this it is what non Reddit it was." This is my, this it is my was... career in music. It was fully a. <laughs> well, yeah. It was a fanfiction.net thing that turned into a Tumblr thing that turned into turned, a uh, TikTok thing. Of course, it turns into a Tumblr thing. You gotta go. You gotta pass through like the. the you gotta last pass gate through the hell. layers. The last gate of hell, Tumblr. You can find some fun stuff on Tumblr, man. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go down Tumblr. <laughs> I don't want to go down Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr is so. Blech. It's definitely an H E double hockey stick site. It seems like uh... nothing good comes from it. WVUA-FM, Tuscaloosa.